Welcome AVID educators and fellow AVID students. I would like to thank all the teachers and administrators who are in attendance. Without you, we as students would not be at the level we are or learn the intrinsic value of education in our lives and for our future. I am honored to be able to speak in front of you today. I am truly humbled. I started AVID as a seventh grader. To tell you the truth, I had no idea what I had gotten into. <laughs> On the first day of this mysterious class, our teacher told us that AVID would assist us in becoming college ready and provide us with indispensable tools to help us succeed in all areas of life. I became intrigued by what the AVID class could offer, such as organization, preparation, college visits, and opportunities for college scholarships. This pathway to college took away the naive mindset that I once possessed about college. I thought I could never seriously think about attending college. College was out of my reach. College was for the super smart, super rich, and the super outgoing, I believed. I was none of these. I was a kid who was the child of a single mother, never knew his father, was never selected to participate in the gifted and talented program, and for the first eight years of my life, I could barely walk. As I began to take my first steps, my mother noticed that I seemed to lean to one side. Doctors told her I suffered from a condition called Perthes disease. As my bones began to develop, the blood supply to my pelvic area began to decrease, and my tiny bones did not develop. I had to have numerous surgeries. While in elementary school, a van would take me on daily trips for physical therapy. I may have learned to walk later than most kids my age, but like many things in my life, I was not to be left behind, and that self-determination drove me to not only conquer the disease, but participate in numerous sports. <laughs> Studies told me that children from single-parent homes were more than twice as likely to be arrested for a juvenile crime, twice as likely to be treated for emotional and behavioral problems, roughly twice as likely to be suspended or expelled from school, and a third more likely to drop out. This is what society told me that I would become. If this program could offer all the things I once thought were out of my reach, then I was ready and willing to go full force. I was shy, apprehensive, and unsure of what I was capable of in those gifted and talented classes. But inside, I was fearless, I was invincible, I was a giant. <laughs> <laughs> My grandparents, who speak only Spanish, held the primary role of raising me. Growing up, I had to work without anyone's help in order to succeed in my studies. I couldn't go home and ask my grandparents for help with homework. If I wanted to accomplish my dreams, I would have to do it on my own. Avid changed this. <laughs> My AVID teacher, Mr. Reyna, always told us that we should concern ourselves with improving our grades and being determined to succeed in life. His continuous motivation sold me on this way of thinking. One of, one of the most effective aspects of AVID I truly love are the Cornell and three column notes. These systems assisted me by keeping my notes organized, summarizing the main points of a lecture quickly and reviewing for tests more efficiently. I thought I was a champion note-taker. <laughs> sheet after sheet of notes filled my notebooks, but my notes were a series of words with no rhyme or reason. Cornell and three-column notes took me from a kid who sat in a class, unknown and undistinguished from any other kid in my class, to valedictorian of a class of 505 students. A 
Avid also taught me that organization is an important skill in school, career, and daily life. This is when the Avid binder came onto the scene. Students in my class were expected to maintain an Avid binder, an organizational tool to help students maintain notes and schoolwork in one place using the Avid methods we had been taught. While other students rummaged through backpacks filled with papers, crumpled and crushed at the bottom of backpacks, I flipped to the subject in notes for the day. No wasted time and easily accessible. These avid tools were instrumental to my success and contributed to my dream of becoming valedictorian. Once I told Mr. Reyna I wanted to be valedictorian, he smiled and said, as long as you work hard and are determined, you will succeed in becoming the person you want to become. These words still resonate in my head every day as my mantra. What seemed to be impossible was actually achievable in my eyes. I'm more than a valedictorian. I was also an executive board member of the student council, president of the Interact Club, a club of over 200 members, a Hugh O'Brien youth ambassador, an avid tutor, a member of the National Honor Society, an assistant to the superintendent through the student ambassador program for McAllen ISD, a member of UIL academics, the top chemistry student in the district, a regional qualifier for UIL science, a Tet Prep Scholar, the Channel 5 Student of the Week, Rotary Student of the Month, Border Patrol Head of the Class, Point Guard of my basketball team, a varsity cross country runner, and I took the most rigorous AP and dual enrollment courses available, or earning the distinction of AP Scholar. I don't say these things to boast about how great I am, but for you all to realize how that crucial advice Mr. Reyna imparted me with is an integral part of who I am and who I will be. This is what Abbott has done for me. It has turned a shy, introverted, confused, doubtful boy into a leader among leaders. I am who I am today because of Abbott. When I was told I should apply for everything that came my way, I did. Every opportunity I took built my confidence, and with that came an awareness of the opportunity this college readiness system offers. Along with this, tutoring underclassmen is what I love to do. It fills me with a sense of accomplishment when students approach me in the hallway and ask if I can help them, and even a greater sense of pride when I hear them say that they finally understand and show me a passing grade. <laughs> My current AVID teacher and AP English teacher, Ms. Carcano, has been an inspirational figure in my life too. She's right there. What I saw in her eyes as I entered her door every morning is a desire to make a change in each student's life. From assisting us with college application essays to giving us advice about life, she truly has made a difference for her students. I truly appreciate everything she has done for AVID and her students who bombard her with wanting recommendation letters for college. As I come to a close, I want to leave you with a message for all the students in AVID and for the Hispanic population. No matter where you come from, whether it be from a low socioeconomic background or someone struggling with their academics, there is always hope in achieving your dreams and obtaining a college education. Never give up. Chase your dreams to the fullest. Never doubt yourself. Always venture fearlessly and take the path less traveled. Always think about the five years from now and not the now, because in the end, what matters is what you make of it and how you have truly changed the world. The Abbott College Readiness System has given me the tools to craft my future. Without it, I would never be where I am today. The Abbott family will always have a special place in my heart. 
The experiences in AVID have instilled in me the desire to set up towards my dreams and become successful in college and beyond. I will defy the odds, I will defy the statistics, and I will advance via my individual determination at Harvard. <laughs> because it is all possible. Thank you.